Hello. I'm go- today I'm going to talk about the hepatic cirrhosis of the sound. Objective. First, we are going to talk about pre uh, task before studying or patient preparation. Second is equipment. I mean, we have what probe we have to choose for the ultrasound of the liver in case of the uh, concerning about the hepatic cirrhosis and what techniques and what are the diagnostic findings. So prior study as we are the uh, radiologist or sonographer, we have to review requests from the form. We focus on focusing on the patient ID, history, and clinical impression written by the clinician. And patient ideally have to be fast around six hours before scan in order to reduce the bar gas and prevent the gallbladder contraction. Equipment. So which transducer or probe we have to use for? Probe or transducer that we, we need the to use is the probe that has frequent around 3 to 0.5 but if patient with small scene or child we can use small scan head or linear probe so we Question portion, we start with the supine and begin doing a full swap through our liver. So what we have to assess for the hepatic cirrhosis, especially focus on the liver. So first we have to we set aside a liver, we look the capsule contour, is it smooth, coarse, or lubricated? We see the, we look the parenchyma, echogenicity, vascularity of the liver, we look for biliary mass or collection. And we have to see all the organ in abdomen, especially the spleen. So what is the apparent of liver? Which we should do save for in case of cirrhosis. The first we had to look for the nodality. Nodality. Second, we look for the coarse and heterogeneous echo teacher. We look for the segment hypertrophy or atrophy. We look for the intrahepatic artery pattern. It usually is obscure or narrow in case of hepatic cirrhosis. So here is the sample.
So all of the image show the liver surface. It has a regular surface. And all change is mostly happen in the right lobe. And also we note the area of different echocinicity in the underlying liver. This other sound image show the nullity of the margin of the apathic margin and the monster like ascites around it. And this image is focused on the irregular or nodality of the margin in case of hepatic cirrhosis. In this case, so about the liver parenchyma, it looks different in the cognitivity and the neurology of the margin. This image so the deep shoes was of the parenchyma with Irregular nodalitic nodular surface of the liver uh, with ascites. This image show the hypertrophy crowded lobe. This image show the Hepatophango flow in the portal vein and hepatic, hepatopeptide flow in the hepatic artery. Continue about the diagnostic finding after the appearance of the liver. They have to find some sign of the portal hypertension so that we look for the dilated portal vein is diameter more than 13 mm. As B fast or reverse flow in the portal vein, in live para umbilical vein, and collateral pathway. Splenomegaly and ascites. We look for fatty chain of the liver. We look for fibrotic scoring system. So this image so liver cirrhosis with appearance of homogeneous parenchyma, no surface neurority, and the B so portal venous hypertension with dilated portal vein splenomegaly and collateral vessel within the abdominal in the image D. Again, we made so about the hepatofungal flow in the portal vein and hepatopatal flow in the hepatic artery. This gray image so in large spleen, dilated splenic vein, spleno renal varices, 
when Doppler imaging of the same patient confirm the presence of varices. Okay, so the image of fatty liver. B, so massive collateral vessel, especially umbilical vein. Dilated main portal vein. And C, so gastro renal collateral vein and splenomegaly. D, so dilated umbilical vein. E, so subhepatic collateral vein. This image is shows about how we uh, scoring the five uh, in the five protic uh, scoring system. So by the image, we can give first per column. We can give zero if we found the image like this. For example. Uh, the first column, so uh, the first column in the left side, the first image that shows about the surface nodality, so it looks smooth, so we give zero. Uh, liver edge is sharp, so also zero scores. On is smooth, so we give zero. That is a sample. This graph or schema, so also so about the how we give the score for fibrotic the scoring system. In the image A, and the two is graphic, so the the stage of the fibro fibrosis after we get the scoring. So, for example, if here after examination in A, which for around six. So the patient is in the stage around stage one of fibrosis. If scoring around 10, so fibrosis is in the stage three. The 14 is very, very, very high of the uh, fibrosis stage. Thank you.